Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. Today I am doing a very um, simple braid and it's a braid that I actually learned from Heather and it's meant for one of my subscribers, uh, Lady Kate Designs. She requested um, some sort of braided hairstyle that was simple um, but had no parts because she gets sunburned really easily and she just wanted something cool, something like renaissance ish and I think this is perfect. Now, there's this awesome picture that's floating around on Tumblr, and it's this sort of sideways braid that kind of looks like a rope braid, but it's not, and there's like all this ribbon that's sort of incorporated into it. And for the longest time, I was trying to figure out how to do this, and I just couldn't. Um, and then I watched Heather's Katniss Everdeen braid, and she did this really awesome four-stranded braid, and it was a technique that I hadn't seen before. So I'm going to be using her technique and ribbon, and um, when I tested it out, it really looks very similar to the photo that I've seen on Pinterest, and uh, I hope you guys like it. The only thing you're going to need, really, um, is probably one hair elastic for the bottom, and one tiny little clear elastic, and of course you're going to need some ribbon. And there's no exact measurement to this at all. I always tend to use a little bit more than is necessary, but um, the ribbon is going to act as two strands in this four-stranded braid. So it should be long enough. And if there's extra left over, hey, you can always just cut it off, right? Use it for some craft project later. To hide the ribbon, you're gonna do one of these. You're going to pull a section of your hair up like this. Uh, I guess I want it to be kind of even-ish, especially when I start it. Okay. This is where you would begin your sort of French braid, whatever it is. And you're gonna twist it out of the way. Take your ribbon. Take your small clear elastic. And you're gonna slip the ribbon through the elastic until it's even. Like I'm going that. to gr grab a very, oops, tiny bit of hair. Actually, this is not working out for me. I better remove that. Going to grab a little tiny piece of hair behind the section where you would have started your braid. Smooth it out. And you're going to tie the elastic to it. And I would say the closer to your head you can get, the better. You should definitely check out um, Heather's video. I'm going to link it in the information box. I think that her explanation was really clear and really awesome. I'm gonna try and explain as I'm going along, but um, if you watch her video and you learn how to do the braid from her, this will make a whole lot more sense. Pull back the section where I'd start the braid. I've split it into two, and I've got the ribbon in my hand, and I'm going to turn around and hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing and I'm going to try and speak loudly so you can hear me. <laughs> We're going to name the strands 1, 2, 3, and 4 starting from my right hand going to my left. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so the ribbon strands are on the outside. I'm starting that way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take strand 1, the ribbon, and cross it over strand 2. Now, you're going to take strand three and cross it over strand four. So now, you've got the two ribbons in the center. You're going to take this ribbon in your left hand and cross it on top of the other ribbon. So now you've made an X, kind of. Now, since the hair, the hair strands are on the outside, that's when you're going to add hair in. Because you're going to be rotating. The ribbon strands will be on the outside sometimes, and then the hair strands will be on the inside. And Vice versa. So I'm going to add a little bit of hair into, actually, I'll grab hair here first, to that side. So Starting from my right hand to my left hand, the strands are called one, two, three, and four. So one goes over two, three goes over four. Now we're going to rename them one, two, three, and four, starting from our right side, and I'm going to take strand three 
and cross it on top of strand two. So the hair, the hair strands are in the center, so I'm not going to be picking up any hair right now. The ribbon strands are on the outside. I hope this is making sense. I don't know. Okay, so starting again from my right hand, one, two, three, and four. So one goes over two, and three goes over four. Now I'm renaming them, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to take three and cross it over two, like make an X. Now my, ha my hair strands are on the outside again, and I am going to add hair to them. One, over two, three, over four. Renaming them, one, two, three, and four, three goes over two. Now my hair strands are on the outside, and I'm going to add hair into them. Once you've added all your hair in, you just continue the pattern of one, two, three, four, you know, one over two, three over four, three over two, and then you just keep going. There's no more hair to add in, so you just keep going with the same pattern. I'll show you what I mean. No more hair to add in, so I'm going one over two, three over four, three over two, and then I just continue to carry that on for as long as I can go. Um, it's, it's really not that difficult. I think the most tiring part is having your arms over your head for so long. When you're finished, just use a mirror and look to see if any of the ribbon, especially here on the lower part of the braid, gets bunched up. And you can actually shift it around and move it into place. Like So I'm lowering that, that bit of ribbon there because I want it to be a little bit more evenly spaced out. You can kind of push it around, and um, there you go. It kind of looks like um, like a rope braid, but it's not. I guess I could just cut the end of this, but um, I'm just gonna, I guess, wrap it around the elastic and make a bow for now. I actually really like the bow a lot. I think it's really cute. <laughs> um, even though it is a little young for me, I would probably wear my hair like this um, with the bow at the back. But um, if that's not your style, you can just snip the, the ends of the ribbon, no big deal. Other ways that somebody could wear this. And um, like I said, the Pinterest picture was on an angle. So the braid started like here and it went this way. So it was really like a Katniss braid in that sense. Um, but it was just easier for me to do it down, like straight down. Um, I was thinking that if you have really super long hair, you could, um, slick it all back and tie the little elastic with the ribbon here at the base of the neck and then just do the four stranded braid all the way down and use it to make a really big bun or if you don't mind having the part you could split your hair down the middle like two pigtails and um, I guess you could do two on each side or you can start them here at the base of the neck as well and then just I don't know, crisscross them into like a knot at the back of the neck or something. It could be really awesome. Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it that I can think of right now. Um, or you could do the braid. If your hair's long enough, you could wrap it around your head like a crown, kind of. And um, I picked the white ribbon because it's close to the picture. But I have a feeling that um, the next time I do this, I'm going to use some sort of turquoise or like a navy. Something springy because um, I feel like the white reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I don't really know why. But uh, yeah, here you go. This is what it looks like. One more time. And that's it. <laughs> Actually, I was quite curious to see how it would turn out if I split my hair in two and did this braid and then pinned it up into some sort of knot at the back. And uh, that is what I'm going to do. I started off by Making a side part that kind of splits down the middle evenly, I have used two clear elastics and like before I threaded the ribbon through the elastics before I tied the ponytail. Um, the ponytails are kind of behind my ear um, towards the back of my head but I guess, yeah I think they probably would look better more on the back of the head um, starting off than like in the front if that makes any sense. And
this turned out a little bit more eccentric than I was um, shooting for, but I actually really, really like it. And um, I didn't intend to put the flower clips into my hair, it's just I had a little bump while I was uh, pinning the two braids up into a bun and I didn't notice it to the very end. So I just stuck the pin, the little flower clips kind of over the bump to smooth it flat. And uh, this is what it ended up looking like. Um, it is fairly large considering my hair isn't that long. And I really like this a lot. You know, like I thought this was gonna be overkill, like accessory overkill. And um, I don't know, I really, really like it a lot. I think I might actually wear this um, when we go to Cancun in two weeks. And uh, yeah, it's kind of perfect theme, right? Like sort of Spanish ribbon braids. Um, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with the way it turned out actually. Yay, score for me. Okay. So that's truly it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.